One more time. If it's Kale, Sadie Face Barco. Teddy. Say so, Kale. It's Kale! Sadie Face Barco! <laughs> oh, it's great to be here. I love Sydney. Good on you. I really do, actually. The family's at home, and it's relaxing. It's really relaxing, guys. I can't talk about how relaxing it is in front of my wife, though. She's at home with those three maniacs bouncing off the walls. Tessie, no, hang on, Ruffy, you're the fourth. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Guys! Hang on, hang on. I did a regional New South Wales tour, tour a few weeks ago. I was in Orange on a Saturday afternoon. I put on a tweet, anyone know anything to do in Orange on a Saturday afternoon? Mmm, my, well, so you do, I'm sweet. Um, but my wife rang me, she must have read the tweet. She said, I've got an option, why don't you hit cock with a hammer? <laughs> I said, I didn't know that was an Orange tradition, sweetie. Saturday afternoon, cock hammering in Orange, yeah? Hi, how are you going? Hi, Daddy. What's happening, gang? Hey. Hi, Tessie. Hi, Tessie. Tessie, don't do it. Tess! Don't let it turn the light off. Turn the light on, Tessie. Sadie, do you miss Daddy? Sadie, don't turn the light off. Sadie, do you miss Daddy? No. All right, I'm going to go, bud. See ya. Bye. 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 All right, so I'm missing that. I'm missing that badly. Well, it is tough work at home. There's no doubt there's, there's ch very small children to hard work. They're just there every day. They won't fuck off. <laughs> They're there every day. Every day. They want to get up. 5.30. Dad, let's get up. No. Yes. My son got me up at 5, 5 a.m. on Mother's Day. He's 5. Got me, Dad, we've got a lot of work to do. Get up. On Mother's Day. And he proceeded to do fuck all. <laughs> oh, angry birds. That's work, is it, mate? Is it? They're pain in the eye. Oh, no, they're good on them. My, we're playing I Spy these days. Yep, my, my five on three, I love I Spy. Dad, let's play I Spy. It never goes well. <laughs> the other day we're in the car. My son said, let's play I Spy. I said, all right. And he goes, I Spy something beginning with T. And I said, a uh, truck? Because there was a truck right in front of us. And he goes, no, no. <laughs> I said, it was truck, wasn't it? <laughs> You're lying to me, aren't you? <laughs> he fucking started crying. <laughs> She goes, I spy my eyes, something in with E. So we go through every E word, elephant, egg, I don't know. We've been trying as many E words as we can. We, just, we got exhausted. I said, oh, no, you've got us. What is it, Sadie? She said, play centre. <laughs> this room was clean this morning. Have a look at the, have a look at that. I mean, look, I'm happy for my children to read, but you know what? If it meant no mess, I could deal with them being illiterate. My right, two oldest run a cafe too from the lounge room. That's how I work for them. There's no customers except me. I'm their only customer. And you know what? I'm, they're not, they're not, I don't think it's a great cafe. I'm going to be honest. The other day they said to me, Dad, do you want to come to our cafe? And I said, you know, I want to. I'm really hungry. My three old said, Dad, it's just pretend. I said, sorry, Sadie, I'm a fucking idiot, aren't I? <laughs> this looks so real. I mean, that, that clothes basket looks like a working deep fryer. <laughs> Anyway, so they said, what do you want? And I said, can I have some chips? And they know I love chips. And they both have a, they go through, have a look around, and they have a quick look for chips. They come back and say, no chips, Dad. Don't have any chips. I'm like, you've got no chips in your pretend cafe. I'm your first pretend customer for the day. You've already run out of fucking pretend chips. <laughs> do you even stock any pretend chips? No wonder no one's turning up here. I didn't say any of that. I, I kept it going. I said, you got any donuts? And they said, nah. He didn't fucking turn around that time. <laughs> Well, you have no interest in providing what I want. So I turned the tables back on them. I said, all right, well, it's your cafe. What's on the menu today? You tell me. And they looked at each other. My son said, we got sprinkles. And that's it. <laughs> want some sprinkles? And I said, not really, no. I don't, I don't even reckon that's food. That goes on top of food. I don't want any sprinkles. And they looked at each other and said, get out. <laughs> I said, gladly. This is a shit cafe. Around the corner from Kinder, it's, uh, it's their final day before school holidays. Uh, often they have artwork with them, wonder what, if I have any today. It's, um, they think it's great. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it just hangs around home until, you know, forever, don't you? That's art, apparently. Like, I, I'm not allowed to throw that out. That is, apparently that's genius. This apparently, this is a, this is my daughter's, uh, this is my daughter's uh, rendition of her brother. My wife said that's brilliant. 
I mean, brilliant. <laughs> so, no, they're great kids. Um, but if anyone here works in daycare, can I say to you, guys, if we turn up with our little child and we say, can you make sure they don't have a nap, can you listen to us? We don't want them to have a nap. They're our kid. We'll tell you whether they fucking sleep or not. Because <laughs> recently, my, my, my three-year-old only goes to daycare on a Monday, right? So I took her to daycare and my wife said, make sure she doesn't have a nap. I said, I will make sure. Took her to the daycare at nine o'clock in the morning. I said to the daycare person, can you make sure she doesn't have a nap? And they said, we'll try. No, oh, all right, here we go. Took, put, picked up at four o'clock. Did she have a nap? Yeah. She was tired. That wasn't the point. Look at her now. She's not tired now, is she? She only ever has a nap on Monday at daycare, yeah? She now thinks it's Tuesday. <laughs> I've got another 24 hours of her bullshit in front of me. She wanted a half hour fucking smoke up, yeah? Dave, did, you, did everyone like the dress you're wearing to school? What colour are all your clothes? Hi, Poo-Poo. Don't say hi, Poo-Poo. Because I don't use the stupidest word. <laughs> so, yeah, it's not just a poo dress. It's not a poo dress, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a poo dress. Hang on. It's not a poo dress. It's not a poo dress. It's not a poo It's not a lovely poo dress, son. <laughs> Putting them in the car, what a nightmare that is. All the amount of clicking you've got. They've got their own little bloody space capsules they've got to sit in here. They're going to be in them until they're 27, apparently. And it's click, 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 click. Fuck, the time you've clicked in, the shops are shut. And they're so safety conscious. My father's son, Dad, you haven't clicked me in properly. Well, mate, how about you have a crack? It's fucking not long division. It's doable. By you. And they judge me when I'm driving. They're in the back going, you know, I like the judges on bloody some reality show. I'm just driving along. Dad, hands on the wheel. If you, if, you, if you could watch Daddy's DVD or Peppa Pig's DVD, who would you watch? Barney. Barney? Yeah. Who's Barney? Barney's a dinosaur. I know Barney's a dinosaur, but let's go back to Peppa Pig and Daddy. Would you watch Daddy or Peppa Pig? Daddy. You would watch Daddy's DVD instead of Peppa Pig's DVD. You've got the DVDs now, right? What are you going to do with them? Are you going to throw them on the floor? Yes. Why? <laughs> okay, so... My wife wants to be happy too, and she's worried about me, apparently. She wants me to get my teeth fixed. I'm missing a lot of teeth at the back, and uh, I didn't care, because they've got the facade there. That's enough for me. I said, honey, I'll just, I'll just get a false set of teeth when the time comes. She said, no, you won't. I said, why not? She goes, this is why not. If your teeth end up in the glass beside the bed every night, no more action for you, ever. <laughs> I said, honey, that's bullshit. I obviously love you more than you love me. Because if your teeth end up in the glass beside the bed every night, that would open up the possibilities in our sexual relationship. <laughs> Because I'm a decent in the glass half full sort of fucking guy, yeah? <laughs> Who's that, guys? Hello, hi, hi. See you soon, Mum. Oh, you. you can take over again in a minute. <laughs> We're building a house at the moment. It's been 14 months. Qualified builders doing it. More than two of them. We still haven't finished. <laughs> So I reckon my wife overseeing our project might be something to do with it because she loves a tradie. Oh, she loves a tradie, yeah. Because they're capable men, yeah. She says that to me. She says they're so capable. Well, whatever. <laughs> I'm paying for their capability. <laughs> huh? See how capable they are if they take their fucking money off them, yeah? <laughs> they won't be capable then, sweetie. They won't be there. Um... I don't say that. <laughs> I went down there one day and she was having a look at what was going on and it was in summer and it was warm, yeah, and all these tradies got their shirts off. Mmm, she's overseeing them. Mmm, very closely. It was a hot day. I said, guys, sun smart, yeah? How about we pop a shirt on? My wife said, it's okay, honey, I'll put lotion on them. <laughs> she loves a tradie, yes, but she loves a tanned man, yeah? And I'm not tanned. Look, I'm Fiji. And my wife said, how about you get a spray tan before we go? I said, why? She said, you'll feel more comfortable around the pool. I said, I don't think I will. I feel like I've just been rolled in Doritos. Anyway, so, but it was her idea, so her ideas are always the best. And I've got to take my black hat off every time she has an idea, and we have to follow through with her idea. So she drove me to the spray tan place and oversaw the operation. She made, like, she made them give me darkest legal tint. So the first, it was a June holiday to Fiji. I did not feel relaxed the first day around the pool. I'm not relaxed at all. We, we'd gone too far with that spray tan. People were coming up to me asking me for drinks. <laughs> took me a while to work it out. I said, fuck hang on, I don't work here. Those white kids are mine. You know what this is, Ruffy? Yeah. 
That's pills Daddy takes because he has high blood pressure. Do you know Daddy has high blood pressure? What's high blood pressure? It's when you get stressed, I think. What's stressed? What's stressed? Mm -hmm. It's when, like, maybe your children are so crazy that they drive you crazy. Do you think you drive me crazy? Yeah. Yeah. Are you happy about that? Yeah. Yeah. We took the three kids up to bloody Gold Coast recently. Oh, yeah, wet and wild. That's a good idea for the f a four-year-old, a two-year-old, and a ten-month-old. Fuck, that's fun. Yeah, that's relaxing for Daddy. They're all trying to drown themselves in separate pools. <laughs> in fact, which am I? Well, I've got to make a decision to make. Who do I like the most? It's really who annoys me the least. A ten-month-old, I don't fucking know her as well. Let's save her. I took her down a water slide. She's ten months old. She's on my lap down a water slide. She couldn't talk. She couldn't talk, walk, or swim, but she can fucking whinge, right? So I took her down a water slide. She's on my lap in your water pool. This overfished lifeguard points at me and says, "You can't do that." I said, "What?" He said, "One at a time down there." Then he actually said, "This is it. She can go on her own if she wants to." She's ten months old. I looked at her and said, oh, "Fuck! I think she wants to." And fucking threw her down. She sank like a stone to the bottom of the pool. A good safety tip, mate. for bloody two hours to go on the Viking ride. He got to the front of the line. He said, Dad, don't want to go on it. I said, why not? He said, it's scary. I said, who gives a shit, mate? You're fucking going on it. <laughs> we waited for two hours. You've got to learn the consequences of your decisions. <laughs> and it was scary. They wanted to stop the ride because he was crying. I said, fucking keep it going. <laughs> I'm having a good time. <laughs> this is daddy time. <laughs> we got to the end of the ride. We're walking off. He's already, he's already recovering. I was going to forget about it. And then do we walk past the photos they want to sell you of you on the ride? Those boring photos you never buy because it's so fucking boring. I looked at, I had to look at his eye and I saw a look of terror, but fuck, that's a family memory. <laughs> I bought three copies. I got one on the fridge. Whenever he gives me the shit, I go, fuck, you want to go back there, do you, mate? Is that what you want? Oh, Barkley. You're not allowed in there, man. No dogs. No dogs at Luna Park, Barkers. Bad luck, buddy. It's not open to anyone. He's an idiot. We got him from the pound about six years ago. He is an... I, I hit my mouth now before I realised why he'd been abandoned. He's a fucking idiot. <laughs> He's still pissing in a lounge room six years down the track, guys. We got a doggy door in for him. Hasn't used it yet. Cat uses it. I've got three kids who use it. <laughs> Not him. The only time he goes through is when I push him through. And I know he'll never do it on his own, because every time I push him through it, I'm outside, he's inside. And I said, look in his eyes. He looks at me going, fuck, how'd you do that? <laughs> Are you David Copperfield? Outside, and you come out through the doggy door. You see it? Come on, Barkers. You, you can go out through that. I'm not making this shit up. <laughs> this idiot does not know how to use his door. Barkley, come on. Come on. Come on. I've had this door for seven years. Come on. <laughs> I love my wife, though. She's a beautiful woman. And, you know, she loves to... She, loves to, she, loves to, she doesn't want to waste food, yeah? She doesn't want to waste food. Recently, this is an example. Recently, I walked into the kitchen and the cat... I've got a very overweight cat, guys. Really overweight. <laughs> I mean, he was on the kitchen table, I don't know how, he must have had a forklift to get up there to learn. He's really overweight, and don't judge me, because he's overweight, he likes being overweight, he's happy. He likes food, he has no testicles, that's all he has. People go, that's animal, he's not animal love. He loves food, I love him. My wife joined in recently, said, he's going to get diabetes. Oh well, so what? We'll have to give him insulin every day. We won't have to. <laughs> Sure, he doesn't know about the advancements in modern medicine. I tell you what, if I give him a, a, a choice between a syringe and some whiskers, he take the whiskers every day. This is a happy cat. I'm going to toss a coin to see who feeds Teddy. So if it's heads, you feed Teddy. If it's tails, Sadie feeds Teddy. Are we okay with those rules? Here we go. Heads, you, tails, Sadie to feed Teddy. Because you both want to feed Teddy. Here we go. It's heads. Raffy feeds. No, the Raffy won, though. The Raffy won. Alright, All right, one more time, Sage. One more time. Heads. Heads, what is it? One more time. If it's Tails, Sadie feeds Barkley. Teddy. So, Tails? It's Tails! Sadie feeds... <laughs> The boss. Maybe we had a spa bath up in Queensland. I'm too big for the bath down here. I, I, bath time's a no nightmare anyway. My wife was in jail, not in jail, in that. <laughs> she's in jail. When she was in hospital with a third baby, I had the two others for a week on my own. And we got to the last night, I thought, fuck, better give him a bath. And... <laughs> it's 
three yard in the one year. I said to my three yard son, Does you need to do a wee before the bath? He said, Nah. I'm like, yelled at me. All right. I got him in the bath. She got another one year old in the bath as well. He stood up immediately and started pissing everywhere in the bath like he's protesting against the system. <laughs> then she got up and walked under the stream. <laughs> what the fuck's going on here? You're watching a German version of Dora the Explorer. four-wheel drive now. I used to judge families with four-wheel drives in Coles Car Park. Oh, yeah, you need that shiny Land Rover. Where are you going off-road? Oh, across the curb because you're a shit driver. <laughs> now I'm one of those people. have got a massive car for the kids, yeah? Massive car, yeah? But you do. You need a four-wheel drive when, you, when you've got three kids under five because you never know when you're going to drive them deep into the bush <laughs> and leave them there. I'm one shit question away from it. Dad, what's the inside of pear made of? <laughs> That's fucking it for me. <laughs> Let's go and find out. <laughs> we listen to the Frozen soundtrack on the way? We sure can, because I'm going to be listening on the fucking way back, I can tell you. Everyone must stop crying. <laughs> we've all, we're all gonna, we've all, we're, hey, 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 come here, Rappy. No. All right, how about we all feed him? No, I don't want it. All right, now, how about... Oh, for God's sake. Guys, now, we need to breathe. We need to breathe. Can we breathe? Rappy, breathe. <laughs> Don't put me off having babies. Don't be put off, girls. It's a beautiful experience, especially the labour, yeah. But if you can have a Caesar, I say have the Caesar, yeah? Put the zipper and get it out and move on with your day. Our, our first one was sideways, so we had to have a Caesar. And then we got to the number two, and my wife said, I want to have a natural birth. I said, I thought you got to go Caesar all the way once you had one. She said, no, you can have a natural. It's called a V-back. I said, fuck, I thought that was a Hyundai. <laughs> Anyway, we had a natural birth and we had, and, and she experienced it at all because we missed the window of opportunity for the epidural, yeah? All we had was laughing gas. And when I say we, I had some too. <laughs> that was a bad idea. It was good at the time because the labour was going for a while and I was bored. And the midwife left the room and I said, do you want to have a crack? And I haven't had bongs since 1992. <laughs> and she gave me the laughing gas bong and I sucked on it like I was listening to Nirvana for the first time. <laughs> and I got laughing gas high. And I enjoyed my time in the house. She didn't enjoy it, though, because it didn't dull any of her pain. And that became an issue. Because when your wife is screaming in agony as a human's been dragged out of her vagina for the first time, that's a bad moment for you to get the giggles. <laughs> but the more she screamed, the funnier I thought it was. <laughs> I was like, fucking keep going, put the baby back in. <laughs> so we got to the third baby, and, and, and the doctor said, do you want the epidural? And I said, yep, we want it. Get the needle, I'll put it in. I'll have one too. Let's all have epidurals. <laughs> And that was a good idea because when the baby was born, I'll never forget what the doctor said to me. He looked at me, oh, he handed me my baby daughter, and he said, I can't find the placenta. He said that to me. I'm like, uh, oh, where did you last see it? <laughs> Sometimes I can't find my mobile phone. Can we ring the placenta? He said, I'm going to have to go back and have a look. I said, good luck with that, mate. Let's not talk about this anymore. But I was, I, was already, I was at the business end. I was watching what was going on and he kept talking to me. She's beautiful, but my baby daughter. And I'm watching his hand go back in my wife. And I'm trying to act normal as he went past the wrist and he's starting to travel up the forearm. I'm like, fucking be careful. I want to use that again one day. I swear to God, he went past the elbow. I'm like, fuck, I haven't even seen this on the internet. He was going to head towards the shoulder. I'm like, fuck, you only need scuba gear soon. features in my routines, don't you, Teddy? Don't you, because people think you're over at Barclay. It's not about you now. It's about Teddy. It's just Teddy. Look at Teddy. Just use a, you just use a doggy dog. See that? Barclay, you go use a doggy dog. Go on. Come, Barclay. Use a doggy dog. Go.